Hi everybody, Newtap back again with some more Dark Souls Science. While testing bows for my recent counter damage video, Virtuosus and I noticed some strange damage numbers, so we got curious and dug in to investigate. What we found was pretty surprising. Our first finding was that bow shots do different damage depending on what part of the target's body you hit. Everybody intuitively knew this already for headshots, but we found that there are actually three different damage zones on the body. The torso, the head, and the limbs, uh, that is the arms or the legs. The torso takes the least damage. The legs and arms each take 10% more damage than the body, and the head takes more damage than the body too, but we'll get to that in a moment. Here we also showed that armor on legs and arms isn't region specific. That is, if you wear arm or leg armor, it boosts your overall defenses for all regions, but it doesn't give you special protection for just that area. All limbs will always take 10% more than the body. Our second finding was really shocking, and Virtuosus and I are pretty excited to present it. We found that your choice of helmet makes a big difference for headshots. It seems that every headpiece has a hidden stat that determines how much extra headshot damage you take. A bare head always takes 50% more damage than the body. Many light headpieces, especially hoods or anything made of cloth, give no extra protection. You'll still take 50% extra damage in headshots. Helmets made of sturdy materials like metal, but which don't completely cover the face, let you take only 30% extra damage in headshots. Helmets made of sturdy materials that do fully cover the face let you take only 10% extra, making a headshot no worse than a limb shot, despite the amount of blood pouring out of you. Needless to say, when we found this out, it was, uh, mind-blowing. We also tested crossbows and great bows on limbs and on a few helmets. They work exactly the same, but for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to include the footage. Now, we went through and tested nearly all the helmets in the game, all fully upgraded, and here are the findings. The rest of the video is going to be a footage showing the proof.
As a couple final notable exceptions, we have the Fangbore Helm and the Gargoyle Helm, which appear to be made of sturdy materials and cover the face at least partially, but which take the full 50% headshot damage. I guess that means they're open-faced? Hmm, weird. So that's what we found out about bows this time. I love how much weird hidden stuff there is in this game that we're still discovering. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.